glad this is not the grand finals. That was the wrong intro. Okay, we'll fix that on the next live streams. Welcome back to the live stream, boys, girls. It's playoffs, Galactic Battle, Season 11. I am finally back home. I'm home from Primetime Station. I'm keeping the beard, but uh, I feel like I could finally settle back into what's going on and what's important in Arc of War, right? I know, Eve Echoes is here. It's mixed up a lot of players. We've lost a lot of players. But Galactic Battle Season 11 is quite good. You've got to remember, there's a lot of new commanders out there. Hancock is an absolute staple. Dragon Slayer and Vega are still amazing. The Bullet with Wings of Eternity for free-to-play players is definitely a thing. Maybe not in the playoffs, but it's a, lot, it's a great deal of fun, right? The Tank Stella build is, is quite good with dual blades. Gilly's still potent. The Black Lady and Beast Penetration, uh, uh, what's it called? Destructive Power build is amazing, right? King's Mind Eye Overdrive Kid build, amazing. Rogers is coming back in the world in a Elf. And of course, all hail Queen Elf, right? She's just an absolute beast. So on today's Galactic Battle, we are going to see Dom versus Win, right? Win's my guild, Odad, home of Odad. Um, and a bunch of other great players, right? Uh, Dom has Gungaji and Rookie, two of the biggest English players, all right? So a couple storied major guilds here, two of the biggest English guilds, if not the two biggest English guilds. I think USG has also joined Dom as well. So everyone who's anyone that speaks your language is going to be in today's guild. Uh, and if not, they're going to be in the chat. So it should be an amazing day. We should see a lot of new builds, uh, a lot of meta shifting and meta designing. I don't know if we're going to see any reveals, but we are going to see some, um, hopefully, some of the most famous commanders from around the galaxy dueling, battling it out, showing us what they got. Problem is, of course, I've got to get into these fights to see what the opponent's gear is, right? Like, that's kind of the thing, right? If I just show replays, I'm only seeing what you guys see. i got to get into it. So, uh, it's 10.50 now. We have 10 minutes before the battle starts, and then there's a staging process. So, let's jump into my arc. Welcome back to Melt's Arc. The most famous arc in all of Arc of War. <laughs> Is it though? I guess Odad's probably more famous than me. But um, anyway, welcome to the stream, guys. Glad you guys can be here. People forget that this live stream thing didn't used to be a thing. Uh, oh, wait. Got to do the transition. Aha! There we are. The live stream thing didn't really used to be like a thing, right? Like it was something that I kind of like would film the battles and I would just try to have fun on my own and hope that one day eventually people would want to, you know, join up with me and watch these battles and kind of see the breakdown of the game because I've always been quite fascinated by Arc of War. The ridiculous amount of money you can spend, the style of gameplay that becomes available to you, just the the whole layout of the economy of this game, it is so obscure, right? It's so strange. Let me jump into my editor real quick because my camera is acting funny. Let's see. Camera... Let me see if I can fix that. All right, that looks good there. How about on the right side over here? How's that? Can we do that? How's that work for you guys? Good, good, up. All right, if the camera gets weird, let me know. Okay, uh, shit, yep, yeah. okay, hands are good. All right, so uh, yeah, I'm glad everyone's here, you know? I mean, uh, Resistance, thanks for sharing the chat, the live stream to the uh, the line groups. I appreciate that, and the Discord if you guys like. Uh, so I'm glad you guys are here. It's, it's not fun to do this alone. And you guys are the only people I know that play this game as ridiculously and crazily as I do. So, what do we got here? First, let's get our mic checked up. How's the mic sound? Good? Clear? Happy? Uh, let's check our commander. So, for today's galactic battle, we're going to be maining Gilly, right? Gilly's got non-violent resistance, so I don't need penetration. I just need a lot of damage once I break through the defense. So, hail the Titan, Titan, Destruction build, Damage Pants. Watch out for Crit Wither, watch out for Swee. I'm running T12 attack troops on this Gilly. One slot bust, and um, maybe some Swee gear. But, for today's matchup, my secondary commander's actually going to be Hancock. Running a full Swee Hancock, right? Tier 11, not Tier 12. That way I can Swee other infantry and airships. So, as long as I don't run into any walkers, I should be okay. Uh, so, that's kind of what I'm looking at there. I've, I do have Rogers, Stella... Plasma. I doubt I'll be using the tank Stella. Tank Stella in the playoffs. She's just she's not big enough, and I don't have the research. Um, she's great for a good disable on a small elf march. So if I see like a small elf, I might run her. But um, or small Rogers, I might run her. But if anyone's full marching or or using six hundred thousand leadership, my forty k uh, tank Stella is not going to do much. If I do see a dragon slayer, glass cannon build, or any infantry attack builds like Gilly. Uh, or Huberian, I might run Plasma into him and just blast him down like a Baneling, right? 
Um, I'll, so I'll keep him up there. And then the the Rogers build. I used to run a tier 12 infantry Dodger Roger. I, I don't do it anymore. It's just not effective. I don't even know why I still run Rogers. Maybe because of peak contest and all-star. But I never get to break him out in Galactic Battle. So uh, we're going to go ahead and pop Awaken. All right. And we're looking for Resistance Week in here. Uh, just to make sure. Crit Wither's not bad. But we want to make sure we don't get Swede. That's our biggest concern. All right. So 78% Resistance Week. And that'll help us out. And our Hancock. I totally forgot I need the plug-in skill. All right, let's grab a plug-in. We still got a few more minutes here. All right. Uh, no 60 skills on Hancock. I've been slowly working on the Hancock, you know, just slowly working on the skills. Feral Strength is at level 50, which is kind of like the most important bit, I think. Uh, let's see, Peak Contest All-Star. Is it the fourth skill Alpha Brain plug-in in here? Let's see, item. Is that it? Use to unlock commander skill plugin. Yeah, so 8,000. I can afford that. All right, there we go. Hancock, you would normally get Wings of Eternity, but I don't have Wings of Eternity because it's on Gilly, who needs it more. So I will be giving him Twin instead. That is a Elixir skill. It's a guaranteed double strike skill, which in some ways um, can be better, but generally not. So let's see, we can go, let's just search by infantry. Let's go to uh, special maybe? Yeah, twin. All right, so we got to research twin. Let's go buy some elixir metals. Do we have them? It's going to be real embarrassing if we don't. It's going to be real embarrassing. Okay, got to search by infantry. There's so many skills. My God, my God. All right. Can we get a pregame release gate? I have been saving the pregame. So maybe, maybe we can do that. All right, so uh, Brain Plugin. I want to buy, I need 60 Elixir Metals. I do have Elixir because I am a pack rat like that and I save the commanders. Let's see. All right, so what I got to do is make sure I don't release her and get, yeah, I want to make sure I get the metals for her. So raised by the combat, blah, blah, blah. So I have the Elixir A tokens. Now, what I want to make sure is, is when I, plugin skill, double check something here. Okay, uh, go to release, change to convert into awakening materials. Okay, once closed, when you get an A commander, which has already reached S class, it will be converted into commander metals. Continue. Yes. I don't know if that works on A tokens. And do I have elixir at S already? I think I do, right? Yeah, so elixir's at S. So this should turn into metals, but I have a feeling it's not gonna. Why do I feel like it's not gonna? It's been so long since I've done this. All right, let's try it. Elixir, give me elixir metals. Yes, 60 pieces of elixir metals. Okay, I'm not I'm not a baddie. I mean, I'm not a great player anymore, but I'm definitely not a baddie. All right, so let's grab... <laughs> uh, let's grab twin. There's twin. Research it. Hey! I have to go back here. Okay. Infantry. Five minutes left. Five minutes left until the battle starts, guys. So we're still prepping for the battle against uh, Dom here. If you're just joining the live stream, we're getting prepared for win versus Dom. Round of 16, Galactic Battle, Season 11. I'm outfitting my Hancock correctly now because I forgot to put his fourth skill on. So we are grabbing twin from Elixir and we are sticking it on Hancock. He's our Swee build, gonna be running tier 11. It's pretty much like anyone who's everyone has a Swee Hancock nowadays. Uh, where is twin? Did I already buy it? What's going on? Okay, let's try this again. Okay, it should have been right there, but it's not. I must have already bought it. Plug-in skill. Twin. There it is. It was unlocked. Okay. All right. So we got level one twin. That's all we really need because uh, we don't really care about the bonus damage. We're just trying to trigger another feral strength, right? A feral strength debuff. We want to take away our opponent's damage and defense. So hopefully we can do a ton of damage to them. All right. Uh, Chewy Boba says, I haven't played this game in a year and my gear is still better than yours. Well, it doesn't take anything except money to have better gear. And that's just kind of how it goes. So... Congratulations. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, let's grab our marches. Make sure our marches are correct. So march number one is auto garrison for Gilly. Probably not going to be using that. Uh, this is going to be second slot bus with rangers up front. Probably don't want to be doing that either because of dragon slayers. So we're going to change that to... We still want to lose, but we don't want to get hit that hard. Uh, let's go with that because they won't be able to hit as 
Dragon Slayers won't be able to shockwave as hard. If it's just one or ten units of Dragon Slayer, I want to make sure they don't hit a Ranger and destroy my entire big march. So I'll put some higher tier, tier troops there so that mitigates some of my loss. Um, the 2400 march is a... I'm missing troops there. 2000 piece. Okay, I don't have enough for that, which is more than I have. Anyway, all right. Formation three is two, four slot bust. Okay. All right, perfect. So these are all my ghillie marches. Okay. And then my fourth march. Yeah, my fourth march is going to be tier 11. Okay. So what we're going to do here is grab the tier 11. And we're just going to do one per slot. And I, I know that I always say in replay of the week, it's better to do like five per slot. So that in just in case, like, you know, someone does kill some of your units, five units can do a lot more damage than one unit. And it's really not risking that many more points because you get 10,000 points every 10 minutes per arc. So giving up, you know, 3,000 points or 15,000 points doesn't really matter if you have the chance to like kill an entire full march of units. Um, so I'm going to do the one unit per slot just because. Uh, because that's the way you're supposed to be a uh, respectable and responsible guildmate. But then also, I'm going to do formation five. Let's do formation six as slightly larger. Two minutes till the match starts. Two minutes. All right. So let's do that. What's up, Soren? I'm doing good, man. It's, it's good to be home. It's good to be back. All my technical difficulties with my Archimedes station were resolved as soon as it was back home. I don't know if it was just homesick, but I was having like mouse flicker issues. Just the weirdest odds and ends. And I thought it was Radeon drivers. I thought it was Windows. I, I couldn't figure it out. But then I got home and everything works fine. With the exception of this. Now watch this. I'm going to go full screen on Nox Player. I'm going to make this. Hold on. i got to save this to... That's front row bust. Oh, four slot bust. Let's do that one. Number seven. Okay. So now I've got a couple sweet marches. Uh, watch this. If I go full screen on Nox, my mouse disappears. See, that's in the top right corner. Ta-da. <laughs> oh, my whole screen. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, you can see it. You can see it, but I can't. That's nonsense. I can't see the mouse. I see it on the live stream, but anyway. All right. So let's jump back to... Uh, let's get rid of that, maybe. Yeah, we don't need that. Okay. Cancel. All right, goes to that. There we go. All right, and live streams up. We are recording. Countdown is five, four, three, two, one. Enter the battlefield. Sweet. Am I forgetting anything? I always forget something. Always. I didn't garrison myself. That's okay. There's a there's a setup period, right? In case there's a lag of everyone joining the server, it used to just it used to just sprint everyone into the galactic battle, and the first person to a um, scout tower and in, in a stronghold would have an advantage because it was an attacker's advantage back in the day. Now it's um, there's a little prep period, right? So let's take a look here. All right, I am on. Let's see, we are top, which means I am over here. Uh, prep stage 850, so it can't move. Uh, I'm going to be zooming out, okay, as far back as I can go. I wish I can go a little further. So I'm going to be headed to the right-hand side. That's my job. Uh, my main task is defend the line, okay? I am the wall. That is what we're doing here. Uh, in order to defend myself, I need to be. I need to remind myself that I will be attacking a tower, defending my allies, and defending myself. Defending myself is only highest priority is if they're trying to break through on my row if they're not trying to break through on my row i prefer to have my plasma or hancock uh working elsewhere otherwise i defend myself okay so what i'll do is i will go ahead and put hancock there and i need to choose the right arc call now strength and weaken effect is probably going to be my biggest advantage here but i do like the idea of penetration so if i could maybe go Defense, HP, dodge, accuracy, or Dawn. Dawn has some strength and, strength and weaken, right? The best uh, strength and weaken haul is, is Gabriel. Hmm. How is the chat looking? Can you guys read the chat? I think the chat's big enough that everyone can see it. All right. <gasps> I never put my heart rate monitor on. I bought a heart rate monitor and I forgot. 
damn. All right, we'll do that next week, okay, guys? We'll do that next week. Because this game will get your heart going. It for sure will get your heart going. All right, we'll go with the Dawn. And, uh, okay, so everything's looking good here. We've got a, we've got somewhat of a garrison going. Let's do our buff, shall we? Power up time. Marching speed, check. Commander, XP, boo. All right, we'll go HP. God, that's a lot of eight-hour power-ups. <laughs> Over 500, 700. Anyway, they don't really do too much this super late in the game, but they do something, so that's nice. All right, soldier crit. Now, where am I at on my research? I did just finish one of my major infantry researches, so I'm getting closer. Uh, let's see, where am I at? Kronos, awaken, dodge. So I'm going dodge instead of defense. I do have enough to start dodge seven, but do I have enough hyperspace for hyperspace infantry? No, I need 25,000 more. I'm not even close. So the next one is dodge here. Let's go ahead and just get it started, shall we? Let's do that. What's up, army? How you doing, man? I gotta get a new three-year emoji for you soon. I did some new emojis. Did you guys check those out? How do you how do you type those in? Let me see. Let's see, there's Hancock. Yeah, Hancock's got a new emoji. Okay, Hancock's got a new emoji. And Dragon Slayer? Yeah, Dragon Slayer's got a new emoji. Uh, I'll do some more of those. I was just messing around with it today. And uh, I kind of reminded myself, like, hey, if you're a five-member patron supporter of the channel, no, just a five-member YouTube, $5 member of the YouTube channel, you get the special emojis. And then the secret posts I do. And, uh, I don't know, special flair in the chat. So I need to give you guys more stuff for supporting the channel. So thank you for doing that. For those of you that don't know, Army is the longest supporter of this channel and community. He truly is. He literally was supporting me like six months before the second YouTube supporter came on. Uh, was it six months? It was like crazy. You can actually check the history of it. Um, so thank you, Army. You've been amazing. And he Army's done so much. Like the the melt pins, he actually made those. It was it was Army that sent me the bag of melt pins. Right? Remember these? I used to give these out. I still got a ton of these. I haven't given them out in a while. But because uh, now we got the bad titans coins, where's the bad titan coin? Did I take it out? I moved. I came back to home base and I forgot to take the bad titan. I got a box of them still, a whole box of them, and all the patrons got those. And I still got some shipping to do. I will do it this weekend. Uh, I don't want to get involved in personal stuff. Everyone's got a lot going on in their lives: losing loved one, losing jobs, falling behind on bills. Maybe they're getting promoted. Maybe they're moving up. Maybe they made a ton of money. Personal stuff is not why we're here. I will just say this. Personal life's been a little wild. For those of you guys that watch the channel really closely, you'll notice that I haven't uploaded every day like I really like to. Um, but I will be getting back to it soon. It might be, I thought it was going to be this week. Uh, another tragedy just hit, so it might be another two weeks. And um, I'm okay. I just got to worry about family members who are going to be getting it worse than me. So we're good. And um, just... Bear with me, guys. It's uh, I am a human, right? And YouTube is not a career. There's not enough money here to quit my day job and my normal life. So I'll do what I can as often as I can because at the end of the day, I like doing it. I actually really like turning on the live stream and hanging out with you guys and just kind of just, just seeing this game unfold, right? It's crazy. Who knows where this game's going to go? It's been a wild ride for a long time. Anyway, I was uh, upgrading my research speed before I start my next big research. As you can tell, this research is 814 days. 814 days. My God, that's almost three years. I knocked six days off that. All right, let's go. Boom, spending money. All right, let's see how fast it gets knocked down. 814, right? So it's at 19,544 hours. Uh, I did do a great video with you lost. We had like a good long chat. Uh, why am I getting rewards? Oh, for doing something? Oh, getting points maybe? Yeah, uh, I did a great video with you lost, but um, we had some serious sound issues. So uh, we talked about redoing the video. I did spend like two hours trying to film or fix the sound issues. I'm not a professional video editor or sound editor. At best, I'm like a, a decent you know, YouTube researcher to find out how to get better people to tell me how to do it. But um, he thinks that maybe we should do the whole thing over. I'm not totally opposed, but we did have some great conversations and, and talking about things that need to be changed on the map. We were talking about how to do galactic battle differently. Hold up, listen up, listen up, listen up, hold on. A lot of what I say is, is bullshit. You don't have to listen to it, but this is important. What if you're a free to play or low spending player like me in a guild full of massive, you know, $100,000 arcs? What do you do? 
Because, like, my ghillie's not going to win the battle for us. I'll be able to score some points and get in the way. It's really not that exceptional for me to be in Galactic Battle. But it's the best thing I got during the week. It's the best way to play the game. So how can I make it better for myself and 90% of the player base? Well, me and you lost were saying, why not have mini games built into Galactic Battle? You don't need all 80 ships standing on the line and three attacking and three defending jumping. Why not have 10% of them committed to a power-up mini game over here on this side where no one else can reach, no one else can march to. It's just your four guys versus their four guys. And you guys are like doing a little capture the flag, kind of like mini battles moment, max leadership 1,000. You know, and then the game will like give you, okay, you're getting tier two, they're getting tier seven, choose your best march. And you win these little skirmishes mini games. And if you start to win more mini games, your side gets a 5% HP buff or your side gets in, you know, can't be speed marched for five minutes. If you could start buffing and powering up your allies and then you get filtered out. So you can only do the mini game for five or 10 minutes and someone else has to jump in. Um, yeah. So, uh, sorry. Yeah. Got to cover guild chat. My bad guys. What's up, guys? Can we say hi in World Chat? What's up, guys? Hey, I need a whale fart emoji. Can someone get a whale fart emoji out there? Just, I don't know. It reminds me of the old times, man. The old times. The original times. I don't even know what this new this new emoji game is about. All right. Preparation stage countdown. One minute. Four seconds. Here we go. Uh, I've got my garrison set. Uh, I've got to be very conscious that Dom... A lot of big fans in Dom. I think of all the guilds out there, Dom and USG are definitely friends of mine. Big time friends. In fact, like I could probably name five people that I'm close friends with in those guilds and have been for years. However, they will not waste an opportunity to jump to me and speed hit me immediately. Because why not, baby? You got a shot? Take a shot. I used to do that whenever we'd go into Galactic Battle against the biggest players, 66 and Bingo. I don't care if I was going to lose. I would immediately jump to them and speed march them just to take a shot at the boss. Because you can, baby. Because you can. So I got to be real conscious of the um, of the uh, attention that being Melt brings in the galactic battles. So uh, I'm going to make it really hard for him. You know? You can come at me. Come get me. But uh, just to tell you right now, I'm jumping to the far right back corner. No, no. Far left back corner. I'm going right here. Okay? This is where I am. There you go. Jump. Come and get me. There it is. Come and get me. There's Melt. Back left corner, everyone. Come and get it. All right. Here you go. You got your chance. Come back. Far back left corner. Come and get it. Ooh, I'm tricky. Ooh, I'm tricky. Okay. Um, that being said, uh, let's take a look. World replays. Keb's got our first match. Let's see what it looks like. Here we go. Oh, Keb with the tank Stella, full march, Sagittarius. Here comes the tear space. Bonk. That's why you don't put Rangers in slot one, because Lord Dragneel's Dragon or Dragon Slayer would have just scored big. But way to go, Keb. Getting points on the board right away. My man. Tank Stella is so good, man. Kebby's one of the best infantry players in the game. There's no doubt that Kebby Snowflake, ever since I put him on blast back when he was in Visa. Uh, is that another replay? Let's, let's do the Ezio one. Uh, he not only, like, took the spotlight from that me, like, uh, making fun of it. It was, like, Outlaw and Leela and Kebby Snowflakes from Visa that really took the spotlight there. And he became one of the best infantry players in the game in the last year. He's always putting out creative builds. Puts a lot of time and money into his arc and his research. So, guy's amazing. Great player. Uh, Ezio, you're going to need to watch out for these Hancock Sweet Marches absolutely watch out for him because fortunately he did send t12 hp troops so he'll be able to do tear space but that's what i was talking about these swe hancock marches are bad news uh but here's a here we go destructive power okay so uh destructive power interesting here comes the tear space though so he's immune but the tear space should break through the shield yeah thank god uh, otherwise he would have lost huge there so big krell's hancock falls down yeah sweet hancock gotta watch out for those tear space troops and uh yeah, that's how that goes. All right, let's see if I can get caught up on chat. Uh, Army saying, lol, Melt is an OPSEC nightmare. Fear, Dom. Serenity's there. What's up, Serenity? How you doing? How you doing, Serenity? I miss you. Did you see uh, today's meme review? It's girls girls only meme review. No guys allowed. I, I kick all the guys out at the very beginning. I had to reshoot that a few times because, I, I don't know, I was saying bitches because I thought girls call each other bitches. And then my wife came in and said that um, girls don't call each other bitches unless they all call each other bitches. So anyway, I had to like redo it. It's hard being a girl, man. It's like tough. 
you know. <laughs> anyway, that was a dumb meme review. Uh, whatever, whatever. Some of the meme reviews, amazing, funny, hilarious. Other ones, practice. We're working. We're getting better. All right, what else do we got here? Uh, let's see. Keb, Garfield. Totally missing out on all the action, huh? Ooh, Keb versus Rookie. Should I get in on this? I should go get a replay, huh? Rizel saying, go score points. I feel like I'm going to donate points. All right, Rookie. Rookie's Medusa build. Interesting. Okay. Is the Medusa build running Feral Strength or... What am I thinking? It's Penetration build because you have guaranteed hit everywhere. So you just need to hit hard. So what does she run? Probably Feral Strength, right? No, but you need multiple triggers. Let me think. Uh, maybe Sticky Bombs? Probably because it's an offense build. The Pictor skill, maybe. Yeah, probably Sticky Bombs. Not Overdrive. Not Mind's Eye. Sonar. What do you think she's running? Rookie, what are you running on your Medusa? God, it's not the tank build, though. I'm so used to the, the Medusa tank build with pen, uh, with um, the T12 HP troops. Oh, we don't even get to see. How disappointing. Okay, all right. Keep an eye out for that. Uh, Garfield, another rookie replay. Another rookie replay. Let's try this one. Full Metal Jacket. What? Level 60? Oh, that's her level 60 skill. I was like, what? That's her first skill, right? Full Metal Jacket gives her crit or something, and then 40% is sonar. All right, come on, come on. Aerie's saying, go get a good replay so I can make a meme out of it. I will. I will. I will. Ah, invaders are marching towards my arc. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, I lied. Oh, I got a wait. I got a victory. I got a victory. It's probably Serenity. She wanted to give me a pity... <laughs> I almost said pity. <laughs> my bad, Serenity. I'm so sorry. She's a lady. I shouldn't say things like that. Okay, so my Swee March would have worked. But uh, it looks like... Uh, yeah, I, it would have worked. I don't know. I didn't check her resistance weekend. But Sagittarius, Twin... Yeah, I'm like full sweet gear, so I don't even hit hard enough to kill one. How pathetic. Okay. That's so sad. Come on! Kill one! Alright, well, at least I got the victory. Anyway. Alright, so, how sad. <laughs> Gets a win, but kills no troops! Oh, jeez. And I have attack, right? Like... Whatever, whatever. It's not an optimized Swee build. It's just a Swee build. Anyway, I lied to everyone and said I was, like, in the back left corner. I'm not. I jumped right to the front line. I'm sneaky like that. Because that's my job, right? My job is to be on the front line. I could talk crap and say all these other things, but at the end of the day, you still got to work. That's that's the name of the game. Crouton Bomb's here! Thank God. Rizel says, go score points, Milt, right? So, instead of scoring points, I just got a victory and didn't score at all. So, I'm not really helping my guild, but I'm not hurting them either, because I am holding the line. All right, let's see how fast I get popped now that everyone knows where I am. How many people are in the live stream right now? 80 people. 80 people in the live stream? And people say Ark of War's dead. Get out of here. The highest we've ever had in a live stream, I think, was the finals last season. It was like 114 people. And this is a round of 16. So, Ark of War's doing a lot better than people think. Eve Echoes is a very different game. I definitely want to play more Eve Echoes, and I will get more time. And now I'm getting marched. And everyone knows what my march is. And, ooh, Overlord. Wait, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do well here. I'm going to do well here. I got 96! <laughs> oh, Big Red giving me the points. Thank you. Vega, sit down. The Vega damage build. Not a bad build, but not good for Swee. And this is why everyone runs a Swee cock. Because he's so ridiculously overpowered. I had one unit per slot. One unit per slot. And I'll just take all these awards. Oh, now I'm in trouble. <laughs> okay. Didn't score any points there. But this is what I'm saying. Listen, I, I, I'll I jump back there in a second. Uh, I want to just talk to the live stream real quick. So I killed 96. 16 units per slot. With tier 11. Tier 11 versus tier 12. How do I do this? Well, Swee Gear, for one, right? He can't even do damage to me because he doesn't have tear space. Second, how does one unit of tier 11 kill 16 units per slot? It's simple. I use Feral Strength and just take away all of his defense. And then I just eventually, after a round or two, just crush him. Absolutely crush him. I sound like a underage math tutor when I talk. I just crush him. I, I don't know. I, it's, it's Feral Strength. Shut up, Milt. God. Sometimes you don't hear yourself talking until it like repeats in your head when you're thinking of the next thing. 
anyway should we get some ambiance music because like i'm i'm up i got i'm two i'm three two and one right i mean big red in here sending his gilly at me (laughs) out of here with your gilly what's his fourth skill doesn't even show us does he not have a fourth skill they have to show me right let's see does that show it no it doesn't interesting that's right the fourth skill isn't shown they need to add that so that's a patch that's coming all right, so uh, I forgot to buff myself after I got those last dilly up, dilly bobs, right? Dilly bobs. Okay. Uh, I need to. I only have eighty six thousand. So if I use one of my buffs, I only get one. Usually, you want the point buff, but super defense is good. Commander cure speed is good. Soldier heal speed is good if you're losing a lot. But I won't get the soldier heal speed until I need it, and that means I usually have killed more. So I'll probably go integral gain to be more efficient with my points. Okay. So let's jump into our Diablo Hall, Gabriel Hall, excuse me, get faster commander heal, and we'll do five hours of speed up. Now, what's great about this, I still have meta energy, I can meta energy heal for free. So that's awesome. I always forget to do that. Not this time, not this time. All right, Don Hall, wait a minute. Oh, come on, Don, I misclicked and sent it to the bottom. There we go. All right, Don Hall's back up. We need to garrison ourselves. Let's mix it up and not use Hancock Sweet March because people know I'm doing that. So let's do my Gilly one slot bust to get defend myself. And then that way people uh, won't just anticipate me having Hancock there. But in reality, what we'll do is we'll actually put Hancock there and see if anyone's actually paying attention. That's the real trick. That's <laughs> like Otherwise I gotta like turn my screen off, garrison myself, turn the screen back. I could do that. It's a lot of it's a lot of work. Okay, so I like Dragneel over here. He's starting trouble. You know, he's trying to clear the the line. You know what? Hold on a second, guys. I need to be a better player. Okay, Deranged is up here doing the Lord's work. Six hundred K. Shout out to Deranged. Uh, we are taking right side stronghold. Swee Hancock. Oh, look at Jurassic Hog. I love the black build. Look at the black build here. He's using the tier twelve HP troops, right? You could use the defense troops here, and they do hit significantly harder, but that tear space damage is really nice. So I recommend T12 HP troops in the back, tier 12 defense troops in the front for the black build. Uh, Darth Vader's elf, absolute staple. Kia got his ghillie out there. And who's attacking? Ozzy Wigga. I like Ozzy Wigga. Actually, I know him. I know him. What's up, Johnny B? Now, is it now? I, when I see Johnny B, there's been a few Johnny B's back in the day. There's been a JDB, and there's been a Johnny B that used to be in my original guild back in... Uh, wasn't God. Was it God? Might have been God back in the day. So, I never, I can never tell. Those generic names like Johnny B are really hard to put a number on. But when someone's named Crouton Bomb, or Serenity, or Rizel, those names are easier to remember. A lot easier. Okay, uh... Looks like Darth Vader's elf is taking a, some some beatings here. Keb with the tier 11 build. Tier 11 Pictor is actually really good. Underrated build. I haven't really talked about it. Whoa, look at this. Stainless steel rat with a tier 3 bullet. That is a terrible idea. What is he thinking? That's a terrible idea. All right, should we get in on the action? I feel like... Um, I don't want to go for the garrison there, but maybe I should go on deranged. Let's try that. So I'm going to get first strike, because I'm going to be defending him. And I'm just going to try to punish anyone that uh, anyone that sends on him, right? That's like my goal here. I just got to make sure that... Yeah, I just want to make sure that I don't get fully wrecked by a Swee March. Even though I have slot 3 open, I'm going to lose. Uh, I'm just going to put a little tier 12 HP in that second slot. There are better ways to do it, but I, you know, for now, that, that'll work. <laughs> elementary same two was like play it sneaky it's like i'm trying man but let's be honest if anyone's actually stream sniping me I'm, there's nothing i'm gonna be able to do uh and that's why i just can't really show what my guild's doing um yeah let's uh let's see. i'm garrisoned my allies are garrisoned let's get some replays who's got the best replay so far that's what sucks about the replay system right here because like it it doesn't rate the replays it's just whoever posts the first replay usually gets it up there army's got one let's see what army did Awakening, crushing blow, dragon flare, dragon slayer, shockwave, a oh, one shot, one shot. <laughs> Army, our 
me. Oh, man. Shout out to Big Red, though. Big Red and uh, Rookie and Dragneel have been mixing it up, man. Bringing the action. Love that. I hate when you get into a battle and the guild doesn't even show up. There's like, eh, we're not going to win and we don't want the repair bill. No. No. Not Dom. Dom's here to fight. This is what it's all about. You might go all season waiting to look for the ideal matchup against the other English-speaking guild players you've known for years. It's actually really cool, man. It's one of the coolest things about this game. You know, you get into a lot of games like, I don't know, Overwatch, StarCraft matchmaking, uh, these Warzone games. You get into these games where you don't know anyone. You're just playing selfishly, like, ah, entertain me for 10 minutes, Rocket League. But in Arc of War, it's, there's this community, right? There really is. It's like, it's it's a, it's a so different. And I thought about this a lot when I'm, when I'm messing with the Eve Echoes and just this last month. And anyway, Army's got a new replay for us. I'm not trying to get all introspective. This is supposed to be Galactic Battle Playoff Livestream Entertainment, right? 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 We need more music. One thing I never did. Oh, nice shot, Army. Uh, one thing I never did was got a song. I always wanted to have a song made for Arc of War in my channel. Like, I, I mention all the time StarCraft, but there's a there's a song called um, Nick Tasteless Plot. Um, I forget who did it. It'll come to me in a second. But the artist... Oh, let's try that again. I missed it. Uh, he made such a catchy song, and uh, I love that song. And if I had my own song, I could play it on live streams. All right, so Rookie's uh, Garrison or, or um, Stronghold March got exposed. Oh! Al Kassim's here! I was just talking about classic players. Al Q. Al Q. Okay, first off, for you guys that don't know Al Q, um, he has been a boss, spender, server boss, guild boss since the beginning of Ark of War. And he's jumped around from guilds to servers for the last couple of years. He took some time off, but he's back now. And he also played Sky Kingdoms for a while. He was a boss in Sky Kingdoms. So he's throwing medals my way. Thanks, man. I appreciate you. I'm glad you're back for however long you're back. And remember, if you ever do decide to leave Ark of War, it doesn't have to be forever. You can take three months off. You can take six months off. You can come back, ridiculous badger. You can come back, badger. And Krylar. I miss those guys, man. They're a great asset to the community. All right. Uh, Dom's Anubis has a replay for Brave. Is that Anubis Rose or is that Anubis, the guy that has a Russian wife? <laughs> I don't know how else to say that. Uh oh, plasma tier ten against the Neko. This could be bad for Brave. This could be really bad. Oh, Perseus, not enough. Oh, here comes the boom. Okay, that's not bad. Thirteen units per slot's not bad. Okay, so okay, I like winced in pain. That's like forty units, eighty, seventy-eight units per bomb. So. Uh, yeah, Brave's going to be losing way more troops here. The shield absorbs some damage there. Uh, but ultimately, not that bad. Not That, that could have been a lot worse. That could have been a lot worse. But uh, nice little plasma bomb. Badass has a replay for us. Yeah, B B Badger's in the Evacus community. I know. I know where Badger is. He's still around. F in the chat for Badger. Jinja says F in the chat for Badger. I know. I know. Uh, all right. Kark takes a hit wait hold on did he really get one shot by that vega did i miss the breakdown i missed the breakdown okay here's a shot yeah 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 no crit there see the crit wither stops the big hit tear space goes off look congrats rogers you won but at what cost mate you, you really paid a big price for that all right how are we doing am i alive still okay and deranged my garrison still on deranged and where's my ship Oh, I'm in the back row. I need to move up. Wow, look how good our team is. They're really holding that line. See that? We're not even letting them get to us. Ooh, empty spot. Oh, there's already another arc. Way to go, Farrick, man. He was quick. Jeez. All right, way to go, team. And you know, that's the strategy. Don't let them in. Do not let them in. Yeah, and they're trying, though. See how the ships are moving to that? That means that they're getting popped. Uh, Big Skillet is also playing Eve Echoes, I believe. Um... I haven't honestly haven't talked to him too much lately, uh, but keep an eye on Big Skillet, man. That guy's uh, ambitious and talented, and um, I, I, you know, I, I have a lot of hopes of one day going back and like doing a podcast or an interview with all those guys. See where they are now. I really like the the Zen Town Heroes episodes where you get to talk to Ark of War players and say, "Do you remember this? Do you remember that? What do you think they did right? What do you think they did wrong?" That's a kind of mean you lost it. That was a good time. Too bad the audio was trash. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. What's up, Pickle Rick? How you doing, man? 
Pickle Rick. <sighs> Fucking Rick and Morty, man. It's like, didn't you know when you chose the name Pickle Rick that 17 other people, probably annoying people, were going to choose the same name? Oh, well. It's a memorable name, though. It's an easy avatar to remember. It sticks out. All right. Uh... I mean, I want to get involved in the action here, but, like, everyone's doing such a good job. There's nothing for me to do. So I'll move up. All right, so Shaggin. Shaggin, shout out to Shaggin. He's been around for a while, man. He was on my Sky Kingdoms guild. Unwanted Spy is here? I'm such a bad guildmate. I don't keep an eye on all the new players as they come through, and people don't try to bother me and say, hey, I joined your guild. So it's like, I'll just see him in guild chat and be like, wait a minute, when did you join our guild? Tex is here. I think that's Tex from my original server. 0769? Text 1183. I think I'm 1183 now. Yeah. But yeah, there's so many players that uh, have even changed their... Oh, look at this! Magnum PI! Shout out to Magnum PI. No! Don't say that, Jinjo. You can do content, Jinjo. Uh, Eve echoes in space. Nobody hears you yawn. Ah, man. I played Eve Online and like, it was very fun as you start off because Eve Online is a gorgeous game and the user interface and how you can zoom in and out of the galaxies and jump from place to place and dock at space stations and trade once you figure it all out and like it starts coming together it is amazing like i am so happy eve online exists as a game but when it's six o'clock on a tuesday let's say eight o'clock on a tuesday you know you're done with your responsibilities you're done with your work your projects your hobby tonight is gaming entertain myself what can i do for 30 minutes well, I know if I jump on Rocket League, I can get like three or four really good games in. I know if I jump on StarCraft, I could play some classic games that remind me of my childhood. I know if I jump on chess, I can get in a quick 30-minute match. If I jump on EVE Online, it might take me 20 minutes just to get somewhere to decide if I can do anything. That's my problem, okay? But that's not much different than Ark of War. Plenty of time I'll log into Ark of War and not do anything except my dailies. But at least there's dailies to do, and I feel like I'm making progress and talk to the guild and make an appearance, you know? But World of Warcraft gets the same way, right? World of Warcraft, back in the day, when you're in like a hardcore raiding guild, you get to this point at the end of the game, you're like, all right, we raid on Tuesday, Wednesday, or Tuesdays and Thursdays at 6 p.m., and if it's Wednesday, I ain't got nothing to do. I'm going to go farm rare monsters that might not spawn for two more days, trying to get a mount that you use to show off in Dalaran, you know? Like, it's, it's just a... I don't know, man. It's hard to complain about any game because it, it, it they all fit a certain market at a certain time. But um, what, what are we doing? This is supposed to be the playoffs. Shut up, Melt. God, I'm talking about freaking World of Warcraft. All right, Vast Viking, Nick, Ezio, Deranged, Big Red, holding down the space. I should be a better guildmate and attack that. But unfortunately, I don't have a very big commander. So I get popped out really easily and I sacrifice a lot of points. So in my game plan, it's better for me to hold the wall and defend the defending ships. So as much as I'd like to, to get scrappy in there, there's not really much I can do. However... I do have a tank Stella. And uh, I was just saying how I'm not very useful. But I do know. And my tank Stella is quite a bit of fun. And she does wild things. Let's go awaken her. Alright, what are we going to awaken her with? Well, we have tier 12 HP troops. So we probably want to awaken crit with her. Defense. Resistance weaken. Dodge. Resistance weaken. Crit with her. Okay. All right, this is the Stella tank build, by the way, guys. Dodge, accuracy, accuracy, crit, crit, crit. All of our damage comes from Terra Space. We're just trying to mitigate damage as much as we can. Um, the penetration doesn't matter. It's all about the accuracy and dodge. So, what do I need to do here? I feel like I should put the Aegis Hall on because I know I'm going to be fighting with Stella before anything else. But... I like the idea of having penetration on Gilly? Not really. No, okay, so the right thing here to do is to switch over to the Aegis Hall. My Aegis Hall is maximum. And uh, get a little more damage reduction on my Stella there. So there we go. There we go. That's how we do things. Uh, do I have enough points for any more buffs? I don't believe I do. I didn't get any. Yeah, I didn't score. So I'm just sitting here with a space shop, sitting around waiting. Uh, where is the Gilly Melt? No more Sweetcock for you. Sweetcock's on my ship, and Gilly is defending Deranged. So Tank Stella is doing the Lord's work. And uh, they're probably going to be sending Glass Cannon Dragon Slayers at this stronghold. I probably should have uh, Plasma in there. 
you know what? Plasma would be a better choice. So depending on how the tank Stella does, I'll probably send Plasma in. In fact, I, I'm quite confident that tank Stella is going to get pretty well wrecked because they're just sending offense comps. They're not clearing. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But, I mean, look at shout out to Army and Deranged. I mean, they may be mortal enemies in real life, but they make a great team attacking the enemy base, right? Is that true? Are Deranged and Army still, like, rivals, big-time enemies? I mean, there was some serious beef. I don't remember. I don't remember if it was Army and Deranged. Could have been someone else. Anyway, chat, help me out. Confirm that. Uh, what else do we have here? Let's see. Um, I should check. How are the microphone settings? Microphone settings sound good. Game settings a little quiet. Maybe I should turn that up a little bit. Let me know if that's too loud. Because it's louder on my end, but it might be reverberating through the mic. Let's go to there. All right, so what's actually happening here? Let's check some timers here. All right, 12 minutes left on the left-hand side. Jurassic, Keb, Vader, Magic, Big Bad Wolf. I like it. A lot of offense comms. Okay, and then Kark coming in with clearing marches. Okay, uh, so we have 12 minutes left on the left side. Remember, we only need to get to 7 minutes, and then we can just zerg it. And just hold it, hold the time. Oh, six minutes left. Look at this. Six minutes left. Look at Magnum PI. The meme engineer throwing up a Galileo and a Ranger. And that's just a, I don't know, fill a slot, take the time. It works. No, no problem there. No. Oh, Deranged and I never had beef. At least not that I'm aware of. Okay, it wasn't you in a Deranged. Army and someone. Army and someone. Who was it? There was someone, man. There was someone that like got mad at you for like selling resources or something. I don't remember. I don't remember. I know, Johnny. I know. I don't like. I don't want to knock Dom out of the playoffs either. I'd like to meet them in the round of four, but uh, ultimately, someone has to take on the big bad Chinese. America can't do it alone. I guess Europe. Never mind. We don't do politics. We don't do politics here. Chinese guilds. We're coming for you. But we're all multicultural. Let's be honest. Actually, I don't know how many Asians our, our guild actually has. I know plenty of people have Asian descent and do speak Chinese. But for the most part, <clears throat> we're pretty much mostly English. I don't think there's any exclusive Chinese non-speaking, non-English speaking in our guild. Wow. I'm not proud of that, actually. I do think it's better to have multiculturalism, um, not for like, I don't know, progressive reasons, for straight up just watching Capitals at night to kind of keep an ear to the multiple communities inside the game. Uh, so we should pick up some uh, Asian players, at least a couple more. Okay. Okay, what can I do here? What can I do? I'm just, honestly, I'm so proud of my guild, right? I don't want to take this for granted. Look at this. We are three layers deep. One, two, th oops, <laughs> misclick. One, two, three layers deep of level 22 ships that are all at least 100 million power or more, right? We've got both watchtowers, both sides, right? This one and the bottom one. Let me double check that. We should have both watchtowers. And, yeah, we've got them both. And we're, we're overpowering them, right? And we should be overpowering them. We're the bigger guild, right? But it's very possible that a smaller guild that are better organized can overpower you. Uh, such as the case with um, DZG versus uh, GBD back in Season 9 of the Galactic Battle. I think my history is a little off there, but um, it can be done. Oh, someone's coming at me. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Dragneel, what do you got? Oh, no. Now, wait a minute. Titan, Ambition, Maguel. I had Sui on myself. Did he awaken Resistance Weekend? He did. He did. Is there a resistance weekend in his gems? No, he he awakened it. Dragneel stealing six tier ones back from me or tier elevens back from me. Six seventy six hundred twin feral strength. Gotta think he could have energy armor. I could no no it's not energy armor. He has yeah resistance weekend for sure. Yeah yeah for sure one shots me. <gasps> Wait a minute. I was going to say maybe he had like energy armor and I killed myself, but no, he kills all six units and my slot three would have never been able to hit him. Sagittarius, twin, feral strength. Man, tier 11 H, tier 11 airships really are tanky, surprisingly. 
I love when they miss. <laughs> I love when they miss. Lord Dragneel, how is she not awakened? You must have Resistance Weekend on the hall? I've got like 530 Resistance Weekend. Feral Strength. How is this going to happen? Because, I mean, these Feral Strength triggers are adding up. Think, think, think. How could he possibly beat that? What is going on? Alright, we're going to see it right now. No? He's going to miss again. I almost kill him, right? I almost kill him. Look at this. Twin. Yeah, he's got Resistance Weekend on the hall. I think he just confirmed in chat. So, APOC hall, right? Is there anything else with the Resistance Weekend? Maybe Aegis? That's what happens. I changed my hall for Tank Stella, and I should have just left it on the Sweet Hall. It would have helped out a little more. I'm mean, going to have so much strength in Weekend, but... Look at this. I almost had his ship. He's half dead. Alright. No, I don't... I don't think he bombs because uh, he wins the match. So even if he bombed me, there's the crushing blow. Shockwave, this is it. Yeah. Alright, nice march, man. I mean, that's, uh, you know, if you can't do it with the wake and you do it with the ship. There you go. That's how it's done. Well done. So, you know, yeah, I mean, I could be mad about it and salty because he's sitting here watching my stream, taking advantage of my meager mind and strategy. But no, no, I'll just say thanks. No, I actually, I do appreciate the action, right? There's nothing worse than getting into a galactic battle and having no opponents or opponents who don't fight you. Like, it's, it's kind of a weird thing. It's like, you don't want to lose fights, but it's also, you're thankful to have the fight in the first place. <laughs> it's, just, it's weird, man. It's weird. It's not bad yet. I've never, you know, it's not... All right, anyway, anyway. Yeah, I think people know where I'm going there. All right, let's put Hancock back in the, the driver's seat. Moving your arc requires fuel, which will slowly refill. Okay, yeah, I accidentally clicked my fuel gauge. People probably don't know about that, but yeah, you can click your fuel gauge. All right, let's take a look. Uh, we did take the right-hand side, right? Or did they clear it? Any minute now, we should have had it. It's 36 seconds. All right. Where's my tank Stella at? Is she there anymore? Is she... They, oh, she got pulled because I got bopped. All right, left side has how much time left? Probably six minutes? Five minutes, okay. All right, all right, all right. Boys, girls, we're doing it. Spank melt one more time. Jesus. Usually got to pay extra for that. <clears throat> All right, Thor. <laughs> All right, Thor's on the left-hand side here. He's moving up. That's nice. Should we get some replays? Let's get some replays. I think everyone knows what's going on. We've got both strongholds, right? Left and right. Uh, we're about to take over the right side. Left is five minutes away. We basically have it. So once that's revealed, all of Dom's going to jump to the left side in five minutes. And then if they don't clear us, after that, they're all leaving the battle. Because they're just going to get speed hit and zeroed. Uh, I assume. I don't think anyone's made any packs. And it's too hard to enforce on 80 people. So this battle's going to be over in five minutes. So if you want to say something, do something. Uh, now's the time. Now's the time. Oh, we should have set a membership thing. We should have tried to get one member one subscription can we add that let's see if i can add that right it's important for progress of the live stream to add members to the channel let me see subscription goal chat box stream boss spin wheel media share let's do a subscription goal new friends please <laughs> add source okay uh goal amount just one one zero title All right, let's see. Out, 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 yeah. Start goal. Titles required. The field is required. End day after, uh, I don't know, 9-30-2020. Let's try that. 0 9 okay. 26 days to go to get one subscription. All right, then I heard Obi-Wan. Did someone say something? Kirky said, did Melt celebrate his single win this time? I did get a win. I actually got two wins, right? I got two wins. I also got two losses. So there's two losses. There's a win. There's a win. Yeah, so, you know, I'm two for two. 
Uh, let's see. This one was embarrassing because I didn't kill anything. But Big Red, I, I took I took advantage of Big Red, right? Like a frat boy at 1 a.m., I took advantage of him. He didn't see it coming. You know, he shouldn't have been drinking. That's, uh, <laughs> what the fuck am I talking about? <laughs> uh, I was trying to make that into a gay joke, and then it just sounded a little rapey, so let's not. Let's not. Let's not. Okay. Gotta remember, I, uh, occasionally my family members watch this. And uh, look at that subscription goal. There we go. We got. We need one subscription during the playoffs. That's what we're aiming for. That's all we need. If 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 doc if Doctor Disrespect can get, I don't know, like one per minute for every minute he streams, I think we could do one per month. Doctor Disrespect is now on YouTube, and uh, if you don't know who he is, he is a boatload of fun. He's just a, a wily big and tall and buff and egocentric alpha streamer <laughs> it's like a wwe personality but he live streams video games and i have a guilty pleasure of liking it i just think he's such an asshole he's such a douchebag but it is so funny he's and he's he's so good with his timing like if you sit in front of a camera and talk to people right I, i'm very aware that there's 80 people watching this right and and maybe a thousand people in the next week will watch it it's important that i keep the conversation flowing it has to feel like you know you're engaged with the entertainer right that's kind of the idea well he has this thing about these long delays where he'll just and it drives me crazy because i'm very aware of it but he pulls it off so good because the character and the personality just kind of like allow for it. He can get away with it, you know. It's kind of like a I don't know. He kind of gets like an artist pass, you know, like like Prince. Prince can wear anything. Well, Prince could have wore anything. I don't know why Prince came to mind. Anyway, uh, yeah, Twitch got rid of him, or Twitch he had to follow out with Twitch for some reason, and they never came out. I don't think, but uh, YouTube was happy to have him. All right, so right side is burned. That is revealed for us. Left side, I like how it's color-coded. See, the pink side is theirs. The brown side is ours. And there's just a few minutes left. Should we try and go hit somebody? Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. I don't have any points. So let's just go jump and let's hit someone. Do I have sweet? Let's... I mean... Who's it going to be? Sprain! Oh, I'm coming for sprain. Okay. Don't lose your tits. Don't lose your tits. That's not a real saying. Who's coming at me? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Am I garrisoned? We're going to find out. Oh, sh... Okay. Okay. Well, that, that did not work. That did not work. Abort. Abort. <laughs> I had it right away. All right. Let's try this again, but let's not be a scrub about it. Let's go to our buffs. Let's turn on arc skills and force field. That way we can't be speed marched. Okay. All right. We're going to try this again, guys. Right, let's try this again. I swear I'm usually not this bad. This time, we're going to do, uh, let's see, Hancock, Strengthen, Weaken, March, again, on the, the garrison. Wink, wink, right? That's <laughs> stupid ass. Uh, let's jump over again and just get in there. Let's see if I can't pick a fight with somebody. Do I have marching speed on? I think I do. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The map is revealed. That means we have both strongholds, and now they have to run. Oh, boy. The lag just got serious. Yeah, see all the ships leaving here? So the vision tower's gone. The garrison's gone. And you're going to just start seeing ships leave. And I, I refresh the, the page every time because Arc War doesn't do it very well. So you just do this and that. Oh, plasma lost? Come on, plasma. Okay, one thing I need to do, though, is I need to get uh, healing speed on. Yeah. There we go. All right. That way, uh, no matter what happens, I can uh, quickly heal my troops. Because healing troops is one of the big downsides. Wow. I lost this. But Jesus, that's a lot of tier two. What a weird march by Sprain. He, he has the tank build going. I like that. Oh, uh, who's coming? Oh, no. One slot bus. What do I have up there? Tank build. Stella. Oh, I'm going to get hurt. Well, maybe not. I might be okay. Yeah, I might. I might be okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, this Rogers. Please let this Rogers hit me. Oh, please let this Rogers hit me. Oh, please let this Rogers hit me. I want that so bad. Aegis, go. Please let that Rogers hit me. Now he remarched. He pulled it. Come on. I want to see what that Rogers does. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. 
Wow, 45 minute galactic battle. One hour live stream. That was quick, right? That was quick. That was not bad. That was a, uh, I'd say pretty decent action too, right? From start to finish, right? It was a, uh, I mean, can, did they fake march me? Oh, I have exile on, so they can't speed march me. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Why would I do that? That wasn't smart. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, well. But yeah, it uh, looks like left side, right side is revealed. And uh looks like this is the end of the match. You can check points real quick, see who did the best. Maybe check a couple more replays. It looks like Dom actually outscored us in points, which is excellent, right? Shout out to them. Um, even if you aren't as big and you can't overpower the enemy guild, it's important to be able to outscore them, right? Because sometimes you can get overpowered and still be outscored, which is embarrassing. But as the defender, you should be able to get enough points um, that you're trading efficiently, even if you're losing. So uh, definitely a, a sign of, um, you know, decent organization and smart players. So that's good, you know. Uh, we did keep it nice and close, and we were able to close it out in less than an hour. So, you know, guild leadership on our side, very well done. I got to say that um, Arc of War in the last two years has completely changed. The galactic battle is far more organized. The understanding of the matchup and the meta is way different. Um, <clears throat> big shout out to our guild leader, uh, Kia, and his officers that do such an incredible job of splitting the guild up into six groups and giving everyone specific roles and being live on Discord and line and, and handling out orders Ender's Game style. You guys are amazing. Uh, I do intend to... Um... Melt, you're not getting replaced because you're not... Because you are garrisoned. No one's garrisoning me, right? Oh, Army! Army's garrisoning me. That might be why. Okay. Well, it's also because they they're, they're pulling back because I have uh, Exile on. But anyway, I'd like to show people what it's like to be on the inside of a guild like this and just see how organized it is. The problem is, is that our guild spent a lot of time and money building these accounts and setting up this structure, and they don't just want me to come in and go, hey, everyone, look how we built everything. Take our thing. You know, it's like it's like intellectual property. You know, they worked really hard to figure out how to do it all. Uh, but, um, you know, the longer I'm here, the more it becomes common knowledge, the more I can push them to give more data about the guild and how it's organized and how this game is played, uh, the more data I'll get out. I try not to keep anything from the community. I, I literally like try to get everything out there. And people say, don't share this, but listen, I'll try to say, that's kind of not common knowledge. You sure? You know, uh, Because at the end of the day, people want credit for the things they work on and discover, and people want to know. And um, yeah, it's, it's better to get it out there, ultimately. So... Dread Sky says, should I spend on Reinhardt or Black? Well, Reinhardt is a classic tank commander who requires resistance gear, the new gear, which can be expensive. Black, on the other hand, is a defense commander that uses Lady's destructive power skill, and he can hit really, really hard and be super tanky. So I think, all in all, Black is better as a one-slot bust and balance commander. Reinhardt is a very specifically defense commander who is very soft in the meta because, well, walkers with steam cannon will absolutely obliterate him. So, black's more versatile, easier to build, a little more fun. Reinhardt is a tank commander, very weak in the current matchup. So, just know what you're getting into. Then again, Reinhardt with tier 1 is a lot of fun. By melt, the echoes are good for now. Yeah. Eh, maybe I'll try. I mean, I'll get back into Eve Echoes. I, I'll try it. I want to give it more time. It's just, it's a big chunk, man. It's like, you know, it's like if you have like a brand new pie in your fridge and you know that you're, if you go have a slice of that pie, it's on a countdown time where you got to eat that pie in the next week. It's like, I'm almost, I'm almost afraid to start the Eve Echoes journey because I just know what's coming. I look at the, I look at Ark of War. I look at Sky Kingdoms. I look at every game I've played until this point, and I know my personality and the way my obsessions work is I go hard, man. I will be up till 2, 3, 4 in the morning. I've got notepads just messaging, emailing, trying all different types of things to uncover every fat. And once I go down that rabbit hole with Eve Echoes, I got kids, man. I got a lot going on in my personal life. I just I can't do it all. I can't. So I'm a little gun shy right now. It'll happen, though. All right. Is anyone actually going to hit me, or is, is Army just taking all my points? <laughs> uh, all right. All right. Well, then, uh, I guess this is the end of the match, guys. That's GG. Uh, the best replays. Let's see if any any different replays made it to the top. Army Fear. I don't...
think... We'll try Fear's Replay. There might be a better one here. Oh, I like it. No, he went Sleep Bomb. Oh, I thought he was going to go uh, Shockwave. Shockwave Vega would have been sick. Shockwave Breakdown? Ooh, so powerful. Uh, can I check the Superstar Popular Star? Is that for this match? How did I do? Hey, I got some points. Congrats, Kev, though. He definitely took it. And Rookie and Army. Superstar for the whole tournament. I'm ranked 22. Sweet. Okay. I want to get that... Um, that glowing text thing you get. Some people have that. If you look in world chat, some people have it. It actually like circles their text instead of their face. All right, but we need to wrap this live stream up, guys. Um, we didn't hit our subscription goal of one subscriber. Damn it. Next week. Uh, I do intend to do more streams with other guilds, right? I don't want to just do my guild. It's funner to sit back. Uh, and I will definitely make attempts to do that next week. I should be able to. So keep an eye on the channel. Hit the bell icon. Uh, follow me on Instagram if you want to see some of the art and stuff I've been putting out. I kind of like post something once a week, twice a week, or once a week or twice a month up there. Just kind of stuff I've been playing with. Um, yeah, and all that stuff's using the description of all my videos. And what else? Did I miss anything else? Magnum PI, lost some troops there, buddy. Lost some troops there. Uh, all right. Uh, yeah, if you haven't joined the line community, message me online. I'll invite you to all the group chats. They're kind of private, but they're, they're free to get into. Just message me. De Dread Sky says, I subscribed just before the goal was set. It doesn't count, man. I wish it did. I wish it did. It doesn't count. I don't know, man. I don't know. The subscribe button says zero, so I just go with the facts they give me. But no, th thanks for subscribing. I do appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to leave that up there just for fun. I, I need to change my haul back, though. Let's see. Just for fun. I mean just for greed. Excuse me. All right. Uh, three days, six hours. Not bad. I'm not even going to speed rush. Actually, I could... It's heal event. No, heal event's Tuesday. Uh, I could just rush it. Yeah, we'll do that. Just in case. Just in case. All right, guys. That's it for the live stream. I think I'm going to wrap this thing up unless anyone has any questions. Uh, I think we're good to go. Good to go. Thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being a part of this. And uh, wish us luck next week. Um, all the members of Dom, you guys are fantastic. I love almost every single one of you. Uh, Dragneel, thanks for the action. And um, we'll see you guys tomorrow. No, probably Monday. Monday? Monday or Tuesday for sure. We'll definitely do news on Tuesday. All right. My name is Mel. Thanks for watching.